Well, hello guys. Um, I'm back, and as you can see, this is week seven. Yeah, and and if you can see outside, look. Really nice outside. Yeah, nice and sunny. When I'm watching this. Yes, they should be. So. So yeah, and there isn't much to really say this morning. Other than I've had a shower in here, but had a shower in here. And hopefully, and hopefully, um, I've got the doctors at three. Yeah, so the doctors at three o'clock. Yeah, and sorry about the light. So yeah, the doctors at three o'clock. I'm sorry I can't film out of my room, but they don't allow you, yeah, they don't allow you, and this is what I've got on today, it's like a ice cream, it's like an ice cream top. Like an ice cream top that my man bought me, and I've got my trousers. Yeah. And then, and then I've got. And immediately, I've got to throw tightly and went into major anaphylactic shock. And then I've got my shoes. Yeah, you're And then. Yeah, I'm watching this. And then, as you can see, it's very lovely outside. Yeah. And then, as you can see, about three o'clock, then I've got to the doctor. And this is all that my mum has bought me. Yeah. And then that's my computer shirts already on. So yeah, just wanted to like inform about that. And there's not much else to really say. Because there's not much to really say, like, like, because we don't do much in the mental health hospital, which this is, but it's not like a hospital, it's like a hotel because of all the food and stuff, but I've lost a bit of my appetite due to my tummy there. Yeah, to my tummy there. So, um, yeah, I've lost a bit of my appetite. And, yeah, so, um, hopefully my appetite comes back and hopefully I don't end up in A&E. Hopefully, then the doctors still say, um, because I literally, I feel crap. And, yeah, I feel crap. And, yeah, so, 
Much else to say, really, other than well, mainly because I might do, I might inform you a bit more later on to tell you what's happening to you. I'll see you probably in the next clip, I don't know, but yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. And if you look. I've got my tripod here. Sorry. Yeah, I've got my tripod here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, this one is to basically show you that. Like, I'll show you my bathroom. Oh, that's the toilet, though. That's the bin. Then that's the sink. Then that's like the mirror. That's like the toothbrush. And that's like the little, what do you call it? That's the shampoo and conditioner there. Yeah. Then that is like the thing of the new thing that's going to be on. Put that up there. Is the shower. And then I'll show you around my room. And you turn, and this is the turn the light on. And then that's like my washing. That's like my chair. With my house belt and that on. Then this is my wardrobe with all my clothing. And my new nightwear. Yeah. Then this is my stall with everything on it. Yeah, and my fan. And that's like my cupboard and my ear cupboard and that. Yeah. Then that's my bed. Sorry, it's a mess. I'll just don't bother cleaning it up. And this is my cupboard. Yeah. So, yeah. And then that's my toilet. And that's the window. So, and that. I miss my level chats with you. What after I you know what we talked about. Do you like it? So comment down below if you like that owl. So yeah, um there isn't much else to really say. There isn't much else to really say. Other than see you in the next clip. And that was my room tour, so yeah, see you in the next clip. Well, hello everyone, I'm back. And yeah, um, soon, look, if I show you, soon I will be going to the doctors because it is. Ten past one. Yeah, ten past one. And then I'd like to show you all what I've got on here. Yeah. So 
This is all what I've got on here. I've got uh, this fur. Sorry about the lighting. This fur. And I've got this colour. And I've got this colouring book. Yeah. Then I've got these tissues. Oh, then I've got this sort of colouring thing. And I've got these tissues. Two boxes. Then, I, then this is like a photo so of my cats and dogs. Like that look. I'll say. Ready. And Marley. Yep. So there are the pictures. And then got this notebook. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got these. These simple skin things. Yeah. Then I've got these flannels like. For, for my face, and then I've got the clock, obviously. And then I've got the scar, and it's it focuses. It's big fake ultimate mascara. Oh, and then. I've got these for my camera, but I honestly don't know how to put them on. Then I've got a rubber. Then I've got this Rimmel Metallic. Yeah, Rimmel Metallic Shadows. Then I bought this new, yeah, it's bronze perfection shimmer, yeah, it does that, yeah, then I've got this pen, then I've got this USB, Then I've got this blue tap. Yeah. Then I've got this eyeshadow. And it's technique. And I've got this nail varnish. And it's Sparkle. Can I just say before we do anything else? I know this is really naughty, but can I get you and Gloria to just come and stand in front of the stairs? Yeah. Then I've got this lipstick. I know that I'm a secret artist. I know that. Sorry about the not focusing. I'll have to do that. Then I've got this sugar nail varnish and it's gel. Yeah. Then I've got this. Yeah. Then I've got this other gel. Then I've got this. Okay. Uh, I, I had a word with my wife about it. She said you're fine to do it, but you are under no circumstances 
And then I've got this. And then I've got this colour lash mascara. And then I've got these deodorants. It's like a nail polish remover. <laughs> and did you did you change your pieces yeah. at all? Because they were younger. Um, then I've got this all lighting in the back. Yeah, well, they're all 18 or over, so it's yeah. the same as the regular show, which is their family members. And then I've got this card from my nan. I mean, from my mum. And I got this from my mum when it rains look for rainbows, when it's dark look for stars and I got this from my mum, a granddaughter makes the sun shine a little brighter, the world a little warm when the day a whole lot happier, so that's that. Then I've just got like plastic cups, I don't know why. Then this is like my charger and stuff. Then I've got this teddy. Same good look. Then I've got this car. Yeah. And then I've got this balloon that's going down. Yeah. Unfortunately. Then I've got this other cone. Then I've got my Kindle. Then I've got my blue tack again. Then I've got that other balloon. Then I've got my nightgown. And then me, and then I've got this Ariana Grande bag that came with her perfume. Then to the then then to the food. I've got that Rice Krispies. Yeah. Then I've got loads of them. Yeah. Then I've got this Chinese chow mein. Then I've got these cookies. Yeah. Then I've got these. Then I've got these. Then I've got them Weight Watchers Creek. And then I've got another box of OTs. And the box of gluten free chocolate bar. And then I've got a box of Nike background tarts. And uh, and I think that is it from the from there. So yeah, um, that was just like a virtual tour of my cupboard. So yeah, I might see you when I get back from the doctors <laughs> or I might see you when I don't know but I will probably see you in the next clip I don't know and sorry about that like that's it and so yeah um but, and then let me just have like a virtual tour of everything else.
So that is my bed. Not my bed spread. My bed. My water down there. Yeah, my water's down there. And then that's my fan. That my nan. Then that, that's my cookie. And my water bottle. My pot. My pencil case. Uh, then in there is just like bags of crisps and stuff. Then that's my keyboard and my mouse and that's my computer and then this is just like my pillow, my towel, my nightgown that I wore yesterday, last night I mean, then my house coat and my backpack, then in here is just my clothing, yeah, yeah, so that's that, and I really like this top, yeah, and fingers crossed it all goes well as a doctor's, because I don't want to be in a hospital because I'm sick of hospital. So hopefully they can sort me out at the doctors. And hopefully and hopefully they can like, if, like I'm in a lot of pain like if you can tell. Because that's why I can't keep still because the pain is that bad. I can't keep still. And, um, yeah, so, uh, just wanted to tell you that, and, uh, and basically, basically, um, I don't know if it's Kingswood surgery I'm going to, but I'm, because I'm, I don't live in Harrogate, I don't know Harrogate very good. But, um, so I, uh, so, because I'm in the mental hospital and stuff, uh, like, the staff, one of the staff come with me, so, yeah, um, I just wanted to basically do that and tell you what was happening, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, I really hope... I really hope. Uh, so I will keep you up to date with what's going on today. And fingers crossed, I get to the hourly obs. Because then, if I do that, I can start groups tomorrow. But the good thing is, yesterday, is that when I went out with my parents, they said to me that I've. That I've change for the better uh, when we went like McDonald's and shopping and that so thank goodness and uh, yeah so um, so yeah so thanks mum thanks dad so yeah and uh, yeah so there's not much really else to discuss really is there so no. and god knows what this is god knows what that is there god knows and then look at the sun then that's my view out the window and then this, you turn this, that does that, which is quite good actually. My dad couldn't take his jeans without touching them, I swear. So yeah, just wanted to basically tell you that.
and there is not much else to say other than I will see you in the next clip. Well, hello everyone. I'm back from the doctors, and um, as you can see, I'm not feeling very well. Let's sit down. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not feeling very well. And um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna get ready for bed, even though it's just five. Yeah, so yeah, even though it's just five o'clock. But um, I've been to the doctors, and they've said, and they've said they've took me off the diclofenic. And they put me on the codeine and the paracetamol. The paracetamol is like every four hours, and the codeine is like for breakthrough day. And if I'm still feeling like how I am with the pain tomorrow morning when I get up, then I've got to got to like go straight to the staff and say I'm still in pain because I've got like a letter from the doctor saying that if I'm still having trouble with the pain in the morning after going off the because he said to me that if I'll go to the hospital tonight they'll just say well go off diclofenic and go on this go on this and try this for the night and then yeah so he basically said that they'll do what they'll what he'll do, but he said that try it for the night, and if it's still no better in the morning, with taking the codeine and the paracetamol and taking off the diclofenic, then um I'll I need to go to Rainy because uh, well he said they'll admit me. But I don't think they will. I think they'll just do like blood tests and scans and stuff like that. Just to double check everything. Because he thinks it could be my gallbladder and not peritonitis. So yeah. Um, I have to keep checking. Because look. Look. That there. I have to keep checking. Because. People can see through there, yeah. So, and as you can see, I am watching telly, yeah. So, yeah, I uh, just wanted to explain that. And and uh, and if they do, like my mum says, basically, like they just might just do the ultrasound now and then and stuff. So yeah, um. Because I'm not hungry, but I'm thirsty, but I'm not hungry because my appetite has gone out the window. And yes, yeah, so um, I really hope, fingers crossed, it works. Uh, I don't want to go to hospital because hospitals give you illnesses. So yeah, um, sorry I can't breathe in because it hurts a lot and so um, yeah, so uh, that's what they said, but if I have to go, I have to go, just fingers crossed I have a good night's sleep and in the morning the pain is a little bit better, but if not, then they'll have to wait and see about the staff. And if there's no one there, because I don't want to go on my own. I'm a bit too scared at the minute. Because I've only been in here a week. Well, no. 13, 14 days, like nearly two weeks. Been in here like nearly two weeks and that on my birthday. No. Two weeks on Thursday. No. No, a week. No. 
think it's either a week or two weeks Thursday, you know, I don't know. But still, I'm too scared to go on my own. So if I can, I might get somebody to come with me. And if I'm admitted, I'm admitted. Or if I'm not, they might give me fluids while I'm there. They might do a scan. They might do everything to check for everything because, because, because what the what this hospital thinks is that the diclofenic has made it all worse. Like it's made like the inflammation worse than better. So yeah, uh, that yeah. So um. Hopefully, fingers crossed it works. But if not, the hospital may, may do different scans, different tests, different blood tests, different fluids. I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm really just guessing. So, to be honest with you, I might not need to go. But it's just a... Uh, it's just a... Uh, just, just a guess. So yeah, um, hopefully, um, fingers crossed, works out. And I've even missed my dinner because I'm not hungry. I've literally lost my appetite totally. So yeah, um, but I have got all these if, if I need, if I need to eat, I've got all them, yeah, I've got all them, yeah, and then I've got all that water down there, if I need to drink, yeah. So, yeah, if, so yeah, that's what's going to happen, and the, it'll be either good news in the morning that I'm not going to hospital and the pain is eased, or it's bad news in the morning that I'm going to hospital because the pain has got worse. It all depends, so, but now... I'm going to have my shower, which is this. Have my shower, which is this there, that I showed you this morning. Yeah. And then get these PJs on. I get these knickers. Yeah. Then these PJs, yeah, then PJs, yeah, and then if I need to go out at all, I've got this house coat, yeah, and then I've got then them slippers yeah I've got them slippers so yeah I will be going to have my shower now and I will hopefully tell you more after the shower how I feel like if I feel a bit better after having a shower or something because I want to just pop on the computer which is that that computer there yeah so yeah so I will see you in the next clip Oh, hello guys, um, 
As you can see, I am in bed now. And um, it is six o'clock. Five past six here in here in England. So just wanted to tell you that. And until I might as well try and eat. Depending how I feel. Because it might not. I might not feel a huge to it. Britain's new polar research ship, which is going to be on site, has left this afternoon in a milestone to the project. The 200 yeah. million pound vessel was nearly named oh, so a boat phase after a public vote. But instead, it will be called RSS. I just wanted to explain that. Scientists in the Arctic I mean, and Antarctic. The ship is mainly being constructed on Merseyside, but the stern was made in heaven. Yes, where um, Tom Sheldrick is for and us. And I've now. got my Tom, unicorn to go on that. Yes, so. And because they are keeping this industry alive, there are once more than a dozen shipyards along the river tying oh, here for any more. I'm watching the telly. I hate to change one. You better keep been trying to eat them, but it's making me feel sick. Been making me feel sick every time I eat So I'm gonna try my hardest to eat, but. It's a dry day for most of Tuesday, so good if start I can't, of sunshine just about breaking through as we head into the afternoon. But we're it. staying cloudy, despite that cloud, it will feel warmer, with a push of warmer air. Yeah, so, I'm around 20 just Celsius. wanted to tell you, Rita, that I was watching the tiling. We start to see the increased risk of catching one or two showers. In areas where the pressure are bringing its way in across the north side, the rings are found very red and red. I would say that the two are also to remove that because it's quite good to see. Tuesday into Wednesday so yeah. yeah, I just wanted to keep your stay with that. So yeah, and I'm gonna try my hardest to eat because I'm starving, but sickness basically. Because he thinks it could be a gut if he's doing my gallbladder. So yeah, but what's going to happen is what's going to happen is is that when I spoke to Katrine and one of the helpers, she says she's gonna we're gonna try the codeine in the morning, see how I go, and if I'm still not feeling great, then after hospital we go because because I have to go to hospital tomorrow. 
because I've got the doctor's vote. So yeah, um, fingers crossed. I don't have to go, but if I have to, I have to. So yeah, I'll probably just want a good night's sleep and that's it. Because I am so tired. The search for the Barcelona attack is over. Yeah, the so, was found west of the city this afternoon. and I'll probably finish the vlog off around 8 o'clock as I go to bed at 9. So, yeah, I will finish the vlog off around 8 o'clock, which is this. It took four days, but police confirmed this morning that they'd identified the attacker. Joined yeah, the eight o'clock. Yudis Abakayoub continued killing after his first attack, stealing a vehicle, stabbing its driver. So yeah. The interior so yeah, eight o'clock. Um, fingers crossed. I don't have to go tomorrow, but if I have to go. I won't be able to bring you with me unless I can put you in my bag. Well, I'll see. But yeah, so I will see you in the next clip basically. So yeah. And yeah, I'm in my pony pajamas. Yeah, so yeah. The abandoned vehicle was found with Perez's body in the passenger seat. Night, everyone. Um, it is late at night. It's about ten o'clock here. Um, I'm not feeling too great with my side. I've been given paracetamol and codeine. And I'm going to try and get some sleep. And if I can't get any sleep, I'm going to be watching YouTube all night. And I'll be moody in the morning. But fingers crossed i get some sleep. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, and I just wanted to finish with question of the day. So the question of the day today is... Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Well, I'd rather drive a car because because um, that way, like you'll get to places faster. You'd practically yeah, get to places faster and stuff. So yeah, so comment that. So co comment down below because I want to know the question of the day is: Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? So see you tomorrow.